the purpose of this video is to show you how to navigate and change the defrost type in the key to evaporator efficiency controller. From time to time it's nice to be able to change the defrost type into a scheduled defrost in order to help from a troubleshooting standpoint on the controller. Otherwise the default normally is the demand defrost mode. The easiest place to start is the temperature readout position. Again, push the back button a couple of times in order to make sure that that's the position that you're wanting to be in. From there, we're going to scroll right or left across the columns in order to hit your set point readout position. From here, on the top of this column, we're going to scroll down through the column in order to find the defrost mode type to be changed. If you haven't already put in the password, it will prompt you to put in the password at this point. The password on all the controllers is 2222. In order to get to the input, press the enter key one time. You can change the digits by pressing up or down and highlight the different digits by pressing left or right. Once you've put the password in of 2222, which is all the controllers password, press and hold the enter key button for three seconds. At that point it's going to display what some set point changes are available to you. In this case this one's the room temperature set point. What we're looking for though is the defrost mode. What we're looking for is the defrost mode which is going to be DFTP or the defrost type. You hit the enter key button down and it's telling you that it's demand defrost is what the current setting is. If you hold the enter key down for another three seconds, now it's going to highlight the demand mode and you can press up or down in order to change that type of defrost. In this example we're going to change it to a scheduled defrost which is uh, represented by SCHD. Hold the enter button down again for three seconds for the controller to accept the new set point. So now you're in a scheduled defrost. Hit the back button to go to the defrost type mode again within the set points column and you can go down to the number of defrosts the controller is uh, scheduled for which is the defrost schedule here which this one's scheduled for three defrosts a day. If you want to change that, again, hold the enter key down for three seconds. It'll highlight the value. You can change it to four defrost a day or two defrost a day. Again, hold the enter key button down for three seconds to accept the new value. So now we've just set a scheduled defrost system set up in the key to evaporator efficiency controller for two defrost a day. We can hit the back button in order to return ourselves back to the room temperature readout.